So team keep it clean What it do baby Sing Graven here with another video And this is really really good news That JPP is now officially Officially A Raven Because they had agreed to terms before But it was pending a physical But now he has passed that physical He has officially joined the Baltimore Ravens Signed his one year contract Worth up to 5.5 mil and he he's somebody that we're hoping ends up being a superhero reason being because he is coming into such a, a tricky situation um the ravens pass rush it's been rough it, it's been very very rough uh justin houston uh so far through the first well his first two games and what a quarter because he left the game early with that groin injury. I think it was in the first quarter that he left yesterday. Uh, but through the first three games, uh, Justin Houston has been the Ravens' best pass rusher. Uh, with Adafi away, I'm not sure exactly what it is. Uh, it all depends on who you ask. You ask some people, they say, hey, Adafi away, he's been getting held every single play. Uh, you ask some people, they say, hey, Adafi away, he just ain't, he just ain't been getting it this year yet. Um, then you ask some other people, they say, hey, Adafi away, he just, he's tired. He's, he's gassed. He is exhausted. And that's why he ain't really been going off like th like that this year yet. So I'm, I'm not sure exactly what it is. But whatever it is, the Ravens pass rush, <laughs> they ain't been it. Um, so with, with J Jason Pierre-Paul, um, he is, we are hoping that he ends up being Superman. Even though that's incredibly unfair to ask of him, especially at this point in his career. Um, but the Ravens need him. They, they, they need him more than ever. More than ever. Um, now, uh, another thing, too, with Justin Houston, he got that groin injury from the uh, the Patriots game yesterday. Uh, so when will he be back? Who knows? I'm not sure the severity of it. I hope it ain't nothing crazy. But, you know, with groin injuries, they can linger sometimes. They can linger. It can start off as this little thing, and then it could end up being not necessarily a long-term thing, but sometimes it could be three, four, five weeks. So... Hopefully it doesn't end up being anything. Cra <laughs> I really hope it ain't end up. It don't end up being anything crazy, because that would be the worst, man. That would really be uh, the worst. Uh, so hopefully, 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 everything gets clear with that this week, and he'll be good to go uh, against the Bills. But JPP, I like. I know. I remember when it was first announced that his deal wasn't gonna become official until this week, so he wasn't gonna play in the Patriots game. So I had quote tweeted when I saw that and I was like, oh, well, okay, no Pats game then. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll hopefully have him for the Bills then. And somebody was like, oh, well, I, I didn't even expect him to be uh, playing in the, in the Pats game anyway, even if the Ravens had officially signed him. Because he still got to get in shape. We don't know what kind of shape he's in. He still got to get ramped up with practice and stuff like that. I'm thinking, uh, uh, what Ravens pass rush are you watching? Ravens should be desperate for pass rush right now. Um, so I definitely think that he will definitely play in the Bills game because Ravens need it. They need it worse than they need it more than ever right now because their pass rush has struggled. Like with Joe Flacco, they were getting it. They 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 were making it happen. It was like, all right, hey, so preseason it wasn't just a fluke. All right, that's real. We we really got a pass rush. But then with Tua, they had a pass rush for a couple of series. Then after that, that was a wrap. It was over. It was over. And Tua is obviously a lot more mobile than Joe Flacco. And then they went to Mac Jones. For Mac Jones, they early on they didn't have a pass rush. And really throughout a lot of the game they didn't have a pass rush. They did have some moments though where the pass rush got there. And guess what happened when the pass rush got there? Guess what happened? It made stuff happen. It made turnovers happen. It, it, it disrupted stuff. It changed the game completely. It turned the game completely. With, with the defense, having a good pass rush, it just, it means everything. Everything. I remember um, in a question from a subscriber uh, from, from last week, somebody asked, oh, which would be more, oh, it's my guy Serge, who, who's he's a patron, by the way. Appreciate you, Serge. Um, but he asked, if you could pick one, which one would it be to, to, for the Ravens to trade for a corner? Over the Ravens to trade for a pass rusher. And I picked pass rusher. Initially, I was thinking, oh, well, well maybe corner, corner. But then I was like, no, 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 pass rusher. 
because they would just make everybody's job that much easier. They make and Ravens, especially their cornerbacks, especially their young cornerbacks and the old cornerbacks too. It works both ways because Marlon Humphrey, his pick came off of uh, Pepe getting pressure. Um, Marcus Peters, his pick came off of Ravens getting pressure. It, it, it's real. Pressure changes everything. And so, again, JPP, it's, it's a lot of pressure on him. It's a lot of pressure on him. A whole lot. Um, and, again, he, I, I, he's going to be asked to come in and not even necessarily be special, but to be significant. Uh, Copeland, um, especially depending on what happens with Justin Houston this week, uh, he could be asked. He probably gonna get called up again. I would not be surprised if he does. Um, but then again, we we circle back to Tyus Bowser coming back from injury. What's gonna happen with him? When's he gonna be back? Is he officially gonna be back in week five? I would think so. I would think so. Um, but then he gonna have to get like ramped up as far as playing time and all that and football shape and all that. I think he'll be fine. Um, but then Ajabo again, still a big question mark. When is he coming back? Is he even going to come back this year? So he's he's a bonus. He, he's he's just a bonus. But Ravens, they they need more. They, they like they can't even afford bonuses right now. It'd be nice to get a job back, but I I feel like there shouldn't even be an expectation for him to come back. But Ravens need to go at this thing, go at this year. Well, I mean they're already in the year, but they need to go at it as if he's not coming back. In my opinion. And they really need to address this thing. Um, because it's, it's, it's scary. You got Josh Allen coming to town. Josh Allen. Then you got Joe Burrow coming to town. And again, the, the, the schedule don't get no easier. It, it ain't about to get any easier. So you have to have a pass rush. You're going to be facing some really good quarterbacks. Some quarterbacks that can make it happen. And even if, if this... Hey, would you consider Mac Jones a really good quarterback? And I, this ain't to take a shot at Mac Jones, but would you consider him a really good quarterback? Because he, what, he threw for like 300 yards yesterday? It's because he, he threw for 300 yards because he had all the time. When you give a quarterback all the time in the world, they going to make something happen. They going to they make something happen. And Mac Jones, he made some stuff happen. And then he can move a little bit. Like I said yesterday, that was Mac Vick yesterday. He was Mac Vick. Wait, he was running around. How <laughs> the Ravens had him looking a lot of the time. But that's because they were not getting any pressure. And when you don't get pressure, you again, hey, Tua, he turned into Marino. Mac Jones, he turned into Mac Vick slash a, a little baby Brady on some of them passes. A little baby Brady. Not adult Brady. Not even teen Brady, but baby Brady. So, can't give him too much now, but... Still, you get what I'm saying. So, you going against Josh Allen, and you <laughs> you, <laughs> you think that that pass rush or lack of it is going to cut it against the big? <laughs> I don't care how many people they got out. If you ain't got no pass rush against them, you. <laughs> so, yeah. So, some, something's got to give, man. Something has got to give. Um... Pass rush, it stops third downs. It stops those those, those long passing downs. Uh, it disrupts them again. It causes a sack, sack fumble, um, interceptions, incompletions. And sometimes, even with pressure, some, some guys, they can still make it happen. Even when they get blitzed, they can still make it happen. Like Lamar Jackson, yeah, he's been killing it against the blitz this year. But anyway, it's not about Lamar, this video. We'll talk about him later. Um, but yeah, back to my point, man. Uh this pass rush is very concerning. And I know it is, we just finished, or getting ready to finish week three tonight with Monday Night Football. Um, but Ravens finished their week three. But the pass rush is very concerning to me. Um, I do not think it's too early uh, to be concerned about the Ravens' answers at pass rush. And while they are going to be getting guys back, uh, what about the guys that are there now? And then on top of that, too, even more pressure, in my opinion, on JPP because Ravens are going to lose Michael Pierce for who knows how long. Again, it sounds like it's going to be really bad. It sounds like it's going to be for a very long period of time. Hopefully, I end up being wrong about that. But the way Harbaugh been talking about it, it sounds like it's going to be for a long time. So, you're getting ready to lose Michael Pierce, who has probably been your best defensive lineman. 
Um, I know some people have been talking about, hey, bring back Brandon Williams. Well, it was a run defense, hey. But everything else. But you got young guys that can step up in this place. But anyway, um, Michael Pierce is going to be out for a while. That that makes it that much tougher. Calais Campbell, he can still play, but his his age is real. And being exhausted, is it's real. It's, it is real. We saw it yesterday. Uh, Calais Campbell was out there a lot. And there were some plays. I remember the play where he went down to the ground and he was like holding his knee. And I said it during the live stream. I was like, oh, that, I said, that ain't nothing but uh, somebody who's older. And, like, the, the game, it just caught him off guard, man. That, how, how tired he was and how, what his body was going through. It just caught him off guard, man. You know, like, the, the, the old heads that are, that are come play basketball with the young kids at the court? They'll be playing. Hey, them old heads, they be having some jumpers, too. But they'll be playing. They'll be crossing people up and all that. Then they go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, young whippersnapper. Hold on now, wait a minute, my, my, my body is catching up with my mind. And then they got to sit out for a little while. Because it, it happens. That's life. So, <laughs> man. <laughs> and I ain't trying to scare nobody or worry nobody, but I do think you should be worried about Ravens pass rush, man. Because, it again, we, we've, we've seen it. We've seen it when it's good, but we've also seen when it's bad. And it just has such a big impact on everything. Uh, that the Ravens do defensively. So hopefully with JPP, um, I don't know if he needs some deer antler spray. Um, I don't know. So you got to hit up Ray Lewis. Hit up Ray, Ray Lewis for whatever Ray Lewis was on during that Super Bowl run. Even though he was kind of quiet, man. That, that Colts game, he went off. That's when he must have first taken a deer antler spray. Then after that, he, he got he got a little quiet. But it's okay. But do what you got to do, JPP, so you could come back strong. You could be ready, and you could try to be like JPP from the Giants. And even from the Bucks a little bit too, now. But, hey, cause we need you, man. We, we need you bad. Ravens need JPP bad. Jason Pierre-Paul, yeah, we it's because it's rough out here. It's rough out here. So, we'll see the impact that he has. Uh, we'll see the snaps that he plays, um, and we'll see uh, how this thing goes, man. So, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And now the Ravens officially have another, an additional Florida Raven. Welcome to the squad.